Abdel Bariatwan is the editor in chief of the Rai Al Yum online independent newspaper. He joins us now from London. Thanks so much for speaking to us. You know, it's interesting because just yesterday I asked a question uh, on the anniversary of Jamal Khashoggi's murder whether King Salman could actually continue to support his choice for crown prince, his son, Mohammed bin Salman. One analyst told us that the king is somewhat irrelevant now. Let me ask you, is he? I believe he is absolutely irrelevant. He is not in control at all. And I believe his health is deteriorating. Uh, I personally, I believe Mohammed bin Salman now is not only the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia, he is the ruler of Saudi Arabia. He is taking all the decisions uh, and he is running the country. So King Salman is absolutely outside the picture completely. And his son, his favorite son, is ruling the country. He is young and he is not surrounded actually by wise men, by good uh, consultants, advisors. So he committing mistakes after mistakes, and that's what is happening now. And the biggest mistake was actually to, uh, to, to stand behind the assassination or the crime of Jamal Khashoggi. And the other, actually, uh, mistake he makes, he is supposed to be the defense minister. He is the de facto defense minister of Saudi Arabia. And despite that, Saudi Arabia now is under attack. Uh, three attacks against the nerve uh, of the oil industry in Saudi Arabia in less than six months. And so right. the last one was devastating. So I believe now, actually, he is uh, absolutely in a very devastating uh, position. He's in a devastating position. Does that mean that you think the Saudi royal family and the prominent businessmen in the kingdom are actually turning against him? And could they turn the tide far enough to actually look for a replacement for the crown prince? Well, I believe, you know, he did many things which actually uh, destroyed the image of Saudi Arabia as a, you know, regional uh, superpower. The first one, he marginalized the royal family completely, uh, undermined its position. The second, he demoralized and undermined the business community when he arrested more than 350 of them and stripped them of their wealth. So the third one, actually, he uh, moved uh, yeah, the, the, the country to the assassination uh, saga, which actually destroyed its image inside the Saudi Arabia, inside the Arab world, and also inside the international community. So I believe all this actually now make the royal family extremely worried, not worried about their country, but also they are worried about their position as a royal family. I believe the royal family now is actually in... Uh, about to lose its power in Saudi Arabia. And this is the real danger which pull, which pushing many of these royal families to, to talk in the, in the close circle that they should do something in order to save themselves and to save the country. And with that, do you think they will have no other choice but to try to push him out of power? The problem is, how can you push him out of power? He is in control of the military establishment. He is, he is in full control of the security uh, establishment. And, you know, he is uh, doing all the work. And he arrests anybody who actually would say any opposition word to him, any criticism to him. This is, this is a danger. So he is in full power. He got all the power in his hand. And as long as his father is alive, it is extremely difficult to depose him because the royal family have a high respect to his father. And as long as his father alive, as I said, you know, maybe, maybe they will hesitate to depose him because this is against the tradition and the legacy of the royal family. Okay, Abdul Bariatwan joining us there. Thank you so much uh, for your insight.